and then they say here reach and user privacy they don't they don't even report this data to users uh until uh they've reached a minimum number of users is reached so they won't report this to advertisers unless a minimum number is reached and then personally identifiable 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 information is never used that is true because when you look at the account and now we can we can talk about how to view uh, your reach data. And then after that, we'll take a break and, and give our opinions on using this tool. But it's not like we get any information about like so-and-so saw your ad and so-and-so did yeah. We don't get any does, of that. Yeah. We just Good get, point. we get overall numbers on your viewable impressions, your non-viewable impressions, your viewable rate, viewable click-through rate. And then, and then what we're talking about here specifically, uh, I'll pull that up here, Chris. Um, your actually i have to i have to get it here uh your reach uh columns and so these columns under modified columns you're looking for um you're looking for reach right because i go to find this for yeah. a second yeah it's so what, what look, while you're doing that let me let me add yeah. in um what you said is is very true because google's not going to be caught with you know, giving too much private information. They're very careful about that nowadays, very aware that they have a tremendous amount of data and they cannot give that kind of data. So if you're running something and you have, a, like Jason said, 150 people in a remarketing list and you want to know what the reach frequency is for your 150 people, you're very likely to just see a dash. You're going to see nothing because there's a certain level yeah. of volume that you're going to have to have before before Google oh. even shows you that. Same thing happens with search impression share. Good luck seeing search impression share if you're getting like one or two clicks or a couple of impressions. There's always a certain volume to have to meet before that data is shared. Yeah, and you're 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 very accurate about that cuz I'm looking at two ad groups right now. One of them has a very small remarketing list and one of them has a more normal size list. And the small one does it. It has dash marks under unique users and average impression frequency per user. So, um, you. So I guess the the takeaway there is when you look at the columns we're about to discuss, if your campaign, your display campaign, has been running for a long time, but you still don't see data under unique users and average impression frequency per user, it could be that your display audience most likely this would be a remarketing audience if you're running into this problem is too small for them to report back to you on this frequency data um so that that is something to to look out for there um chris under display campaigns uh when i go to the display campaign section of google ads under columns i have a option to just click reach metrics and if you go to modify columns you can get these two columns under the section called reach metrics uh, but they make it easy for you. They just have a reach metrics default column uh, option you can select. And over a time period, uh, that will tell you uh, how many unique users you got and also your average impression frequency per user. So how many people saw your ad and then how many times did they see your ad? Is it, am I understanding that the right way yeah yeah it's what well, well, well I, I think in the next section jason i think we should jump in and uh and and, and talk now in the, in the last section after our little break uh about real real numbers real experiences kind of you know what we're thinking maybe what we might dis disagree on but uh we'll do that uh yeah by the way also also how you can use this data even if you don't yeah. have a goal in mind, even if it's set up on automated, let Google decide, you can still use this data uh, to kind of see how you're impacting um, the reach of your display campaigns.